Ma. Okay, okay, before you lay into me for the 10,000th time about how wrong I was for keeping you and your father apart all your life, I'm going to say my piece. All right? Okay. Dante. Okay. Angelo Falconeri. I love you. And I gave you life, and I see that you are a grown man now. And if you want to have a relationship with Sonny, that is up to you. That's your business. But I will never apologize to you or to anyone else for doing what I knew was right by you your entire life growing up. Okay. All I was going to say was that I was thinking about my treehouse. You mean that thing that you built in that skinny little elm tree in front of the Giordano's house? No, you tore dogs. You said I'd fall and break my neck, and I swore I'd never forgive you. You're all about six years old, you know. It's a long time to be carrying that kind of weight. I saw this image of you in my head, tearing nails out and with a hammer in one hand and hanging onto a tree branch with the other. You're my baby. I'm going to protect you, even if you hate me for it. Look, I, I know sometimes I can get hot and I, and I say things uh, are way off base and sometimes it takes me a long time to realize what a dope I've been. It took me a while for it to sink into my thick skull and what you did for me. You just give me a life, you give me a good life. Away from Sonny and all the violence and if it wasn't for you I'd be in the ground right now. No, no, don't, don't, don't even say that. Huh? No, I'm not just saying that's true. I mean, I'm not just talking about when you walked in on Sonny shooting me. I'm talking about what you've done for my whole life from the day I was born. Sonny didn't either. If he gave the order, I would have known. Well, Christina lied and said that Ethan did it so she could protect Kiefer because she was afraid that Sonny was going to kill him. Jason, I screwed this all up. I was so lost and very hurt over my sister that I, I wasn't there for her no. so she could have someone to talk to. So you had every right to be upset and angry. Yeah, but I should have been there for her. So she had someone to talk to, Jason. I mean, I know more than anyone that when you are scared, you sometimes lie. And it's just the way it is, and I know it's going to sound crazy, but but she thought she had to protect him, even though Kiefer lied and, and controlled okay. her and there's, terrorized there's her no, and no way threatened her. That you could have known. It was your sister. You wanted to believe her. You didn't. Well, I was just, I was trying to stay objective. Jason, you were listening to her. And you were paying attention to her, which means that you were able to help her, and I didn't do that. And now it's too late. No, it's not. Christina needs you now more than ever. Jason must have ran Kiefer down after Dad found out that Kiefer was the one who hit me. You didn't see his face. Dad ordered Jason to kill Kiefer. I'm sure of it. Christina, you can't be sure without evidence. My dad's a gangster and Jason's his hitman. Kiefer hit me and now he's in the hospital. It doesn't take a genius to connect the dots. But Jason doesn't run people over. He just makes them disappear. I really don't think he would hit Kiefer with his car. I don't want to hear about it anymore. I don't want to have to picture Kiefer her, and alone and confused and wondering why this happened to him. But that's how he loved you. It's different. Kiefer didn't do it on purpose. He just gets angry sometimes and has trouble controlling it. But when Jason and my dad hurt someone, they don't care. Wait, Christina, it could have just been an accident. That road is very dark. Someone could have just been driving too fast. And when they hit Kiefer, they were afraid to stop because they didn't want to get in trouble. Just like when you hit Claudia's car. I know you want to believe that my dad couldn't order Jason to kill Kiefer. But I know he could. And he probably did. My son would not be lying here dead if you had any control over your daughter. This isn't going to help. I'm sure Christina was brought up to believe she could get away with anything, including murder. But my son was going to Harvard. My son was going to make us proud. And then he met your daughter. And she got Kiefer all tied up into knots, and she threw herself at that lowlife who beat her. She tried to ruin Kiefer's life. I know my son. My son is kind. My son is good. He wanted to go see your daughter to 
check on her. He wanted to go s see if he could make her feel better. You know what? I want to see her. Mm, no, you can't. I want to see what she said to my son to make him drive off the road and then go wandering around in the dark looking for help. Your daughter put my son right there, and I am holding you responsible for his death. Sorry. My son is dead and you're sorry. He was my baby. He was my perfect baby. He had his whole life ahead of him. Just go. Let's go take a look at your car. Uh, it's not there, Dad. What? Yeah, some overexcited, overzealous rookie towed it. Oh, oh, without a warrant? On, on what grounds? Nothing. He just jumped the gun, but now it's in the system and I can't do anything about it. Oh, now see, this is why I hate cops. Some <laughs> idiot with a badge and a gun thinks he runs the world. Lucky, how do I get my car back? You weren't planning on leaving town, were you? What? No, I just want back what the cops stole from me. Okay, Ethan, take it easy. If you didn't do anything, then there's nothing to worry about. It's just procedure. They'll check the car, and if it's clean, you're in the clear. 